Hi, I'm Carolina, and you're watching WatchMojo.com. Today, we're speaking with the latest phenom in electropop, Lights. Seems somebody put out the moon. Now the road is a minefield. So tell me how you got started in the biz. I heard something about Walmart. I was in the flyer when I was like 15, and the picture I had sent in um, was me holding my guitar. And so the makeup artist ended up asking me, like, what do you, do you actually play or whatever? And at that point, I had been writing for like five years and I had created my own little demo and everything with no kind of intentions of where it would go in my mind. I was just making it for years at that point. So I'm like, yeah, I have a demo. So I gave my demo and sang for the trailer. Well, it's not just singing because you play a lot of instruments. And I even saw a key. Is that possible? I was really looking for a way to be unchained from behind my keyboard because it's kind of constricting when you're when you're stuck always being behind your keyboard. And I thought this could be a really cool way to be remote, you know, move around the stage. And how would you describe your music? I think simply put, it's electro pop. I mean, I really feel very strongly about having a really singable melody, and the electro portion would be everything that's surrounding that song, which is all like the crazy synthetic sounds and electronic elements and everything. That's the fun part for me. It's like a corn dog, like the song. The song is the meat, and then you have all like the fun fluff around it. And what kinds of things inspire you? Anytime I'm feeling more than normal, like angry or sad or upset, it spawned from that and I try to turn that around into something positive. I analyze my situation and resolve it and that makes it a good song. How do you differentiate yourself from the other girls, women who are doing music right now at the same time? I was raised homeschooled till high school. So even to this day, I just do what I like doing and make the music I want to hear and draw the pictures I want to draw and put it together the way I want to put it together. And if it happens to be different, that's pretty sweet. Do you design the music videos? Do you have a hand in that? Yeah, I definitely. I make all the treatments up for them. And I remember making the Drive My Soul video. It's very like, very much a space concept. And I was really inspired by like Logan's Run and Barbarella. And I wanted to have something to do with me designing a rocket to get to a planet where there's an astronaut waiting for me. It was just a matter of finding a director who understood and would make it that much better. I've been using the internet as a medium to communicate with your fans. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I put out video blogs every Thursday, keeping people up to date on what's going on. I feel like that the more people get to know you, the more they understand where your music's coming from. They relate to it more, maybe, and find you more real. And then I think the more they know about you, the harder it is to forget about you. You and some of your music was featured in some Old Navy commercials. Can you tell me how that came to be? The way that it turned out was so perfect. Like, it wasn't obviously like, Drive My Soul by Lights, February by Lights, you know. It was just there in the background. If people liked it, they had to do a little research to find it, which I thought made it that much cooler because if people invest a little bit of time into it, that's like a little bit of an investment they feel that they have in the music. Thank you very much. Thank you.